Let's summarize all the points we learned until now. First, we saw what all changes organizations face, which include delighted customer in one hand and a motivated employee on the other hand, innovation, on-time delivery, good service, responsiveness, low cost, flexibility, and good quality. Then we had a look into the benefits of Six Sigma, and we covered these benefits as sustained success, project selection, profit focus, customer satisfaction, engaged employees, and shareholder value. After benefits, we moved to Six Sigma approaches, where we covered three, Six Sigma as a statistic tool, Six Sigma as a process, and Six Sigma as a philosophy. Then we moved to Six Sigma philosophy, where we covered eight philosophies, data-driven, process, boundaryless, gate review, CTQ, critical to quality, DPMO, defects per million opportunities, target, and variation. And in the last two lectures, we covered the DMAIC and DMADV approach, where DMAIC is applied on existing processes and DMADV is applied on new processes.